Winter in Wyandanch is off to an all-star start as figure skating world champion Ty Babylonia is joined by Stanley Cup champion Grant Marshall, Olympian Sinead Kerr and other pro skaters to celebrate the 2018 opening of the ice rink at the Delano Stewart Plaza. This is so wonderful, this adorable ice rink. I can't wait to, to skate with the skaters and, and show my support for this wonderful community. Ty Babylonia enjoys exposing kids to ice skating because when she was six years old, her godfather did the same for her. I was miserable. And then a year later, I saw Peggy Fleming and I was mesmerized. I pointed to that television set and I said, Mommy, take me, take me again. I was hooked. I can say the first time that I saw her on the ice, I was like, ooh, she looks like, well, not exactly like me, but <laughs> she looks like she could be somebody in my family, right? I'm from a multiracial family. My mom is black. My dad was Hopi, Indian, and Filipino. I'm proud of all parts of my, my heritage. Um, but yeah, it got, it got tricky. Fortunately for Ty, her coach, Mabel Fairbanks, was a master at dealing with tricky situations. Mabel is the skating coach who brought color into, you know, predominantly white sport. And I mean, she was teaching Hispanic kids and Asian kids and black kids. I mean, she, all colors of the rainbow. Ty and the rest of the pro skaters keep the spirit of Mabel Fairbanks alive by using their celebrity to encourage kids from all walks of life to try the sport. As much as we can expose the kids just to try things, and don't just try it once, try it a couple times. You never know. On top of that, you're learning a new skill set. You're learning what your body can do and different things that you never thought you could ever do. Um, it's not easy, it's hard, um, but challenges are what kind of builds character. For Grant, growing up in Canada with free access to ice was how he started his championship career. We learned to skate before we learned to walk is kind of the funny saying. It's, that's how big ice skating is, especially hockey. And for me, it was starting off playing pond hockey. British champion and two-time Olympian Sinead Kerr grew up in Scotland where ice skating is not big. She now wants to be part of the sports expansion. We want to make this sport as inclusive a sport as we possibly can. And I think it's great that you have rinks in places where normally there isn't an ice rink and it gives people a chance to try the sport, see if they like it. And like me, I started out in Scotland, there was one ice rink there. It's not like we had multiple ice rinks. We did it, we enjoyed it, we kept going, we got to Olympics. The nonprofit organization Ice Dance International is responsible for gathering this constellation of stars with the hope to inspire the next Thai Babylonia to reach for the sky. It's always the hope as performers is that anytime you step on the ice that you are inspiring the next generation and that somebody sees something that we do and they say, I think I could grow up, I could do that and I can take it further. Tom Pamalara became a fanboy once he realized that skating royalty would be gracing his ice. Ty Babylonia being here is amazing. And you know, when I saw her name, I thought, I can't believe she's actually gonna be here. That was pretty cool. As the world champion skaters showed off their jumps and spins, Tom wondered if the ice could take the punishment. This is the first day we were on the ice. We never had anybody of this caliber skate here. So they're spinning a mile a minute we don't know if they're going to screw themselves right into the ice or not, but it, the ice held up, it's in good shape, everybody's having a good time. Through the first week in March, come to Wyandanche, skate outdoors, and have a good time with the family. And if you don't skate, you can make a donation to give a local child unlimited skating access all season long.